In these uncertain times, where inflation is spiraling out of control, you may be wondering if you should invest. The answer is yes. Investing is one of the smartest things you can do for your future. But who says so? Well, today we're talking about best-selling author Robert Kiyosaki and in his book, The Rich Daddy's Guide to Investing. In this video, you're going to see an animated summary of Rich Dad's Guide to Investing by Robert Kiyosaki, and I'm going to give you five key lessons from this best-selling book. And there is a special bonus exclusively for the listeners of this channel. Stay tuned for details of that in the bonus section. Welcome to the Peak Performance Channel, the place where you come to be inspired to create a more prosperous future. Just as a reminder, Robert Kiyosaki is an American businessman and author. He is famous for his best-selling book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He also wrote a book called Cash Flow Quadrant, which is another blockbusting bestseller. There are links to these books above this video and in the description. Kiyosaki was born in Hawaii. After high school, he joined the United States Marine Corps and served in Vietnam. Kiyosaki tells the story of his two fathers. One was his actual father, who was a poor learner and never achieved financial success. The other father was his best friend's father, who was a rich investor and taught Kiyosaki the principles of wealth building. If you haven't already done this, please make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe and notification button as it means that YouTube sends you more of these kinds of videos and it helps our channel. When people hear the word investing, they typically think of the stock market. However, investing is much more than that. Investing is simply putting your money into something with the expectation of earning a return on your investment. There are many different ways to invest your money. You can put it in a savings account, buy a piece of property, or invest in a business venture. It is important to choose an investment that you feel confident will grow over time. The key to investing is finding an investment that will offer you the potential for growth. This means that the investment can increase in value over time. However, there is always risk involved in any investment. You can minimize your risk by doing your research and making smart choices. With a little planning and some know-how, investing can be a great way to secure your financial future. According to Rich Dad's Guide to Investing, there are five key points you should remember when investing. Point number one buy an income yielding asset and invest into another asset. An asset is anything that can be used to produce future economic benefits. An asset can be a physical object, like a piece of land or a factory, or it can be a financial asset, like a bond or stock. In accounting terms, an asset is anything that has the potential to generate future economic benefits for the company. If you produce one asset, it will be easier to produce another, the first asset should be able to create another asset, and that new asset should be able to create still more assets. This way, you can grow your money more easily. If you are an employee, you work hard to make someone else richer. But when you invest from your paycheck, it is already taxed. When you invest from your own assets, you get the chance to invest from the money that you make before taxes are taken out. Point number two debt can be good or bad depending on how you use it. There are two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Good debt is money that is borrowed to invest in something that will make more money, like a house or a student loan. Bad debt is when you borrow money to buy something that isn't worth anything, like a car or clothes. It is possible to manage bad debt in a way that makes it less of a burden. However, it is important to remember that bad debt should be avoided if possible. Debt can be used to finance large purchases or investments, but it can also be a heavy burden if not managed correctly. When you borrow money, make sure you use it to buy new assets that will help increase your cash flow. Point number three, when you have started your business, optimize taxes by reducing salary maximizing expenses. Most people think that in order to be successful, they need to make a lot of money. However, this is not always the case. In fact, for many successful people, minimizing their income can actually be beneficial. 
When you have a business, and please do check with your accountant before establishing your strategy, by reducing the amount of money which incurs tax that you withdraw as a salary and maximizing tax-deductible expenses, you are able to invest more in things that will help them grow their business or learn new skills. Additionally, by maximizing their expenses on things like seminars and education, they are able to get more out of their investment and come out ahead in the long run. If you're learning a lot from this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and families. You might be able to help them too. Let's get down to our next key point. Point number four, make sure to attain the three E's in life. The first E is education. Education is important for a business. A business cannot run without someone knowing how to do it properly. This is where education comes in. You need to have the skills and knowledge to set your business up for success. The second E is experience. Experience is important for anyone who wants to start a business. Someone without experience is likely to make a lot of mistakes and may not have the skills needed to make their business successful. On the other hand, someone with experience will know how to handle difficult situations and will have the necessary skills and knowledge to ensure that their business remains successful. The last E is excess cash. Cash is very important for any business. You need to have enough of it so you can pay your employees, your suppliers, and any other unexpected expenses. It's important to use your cash wisely so that your business can stay successful in the long run. Point five, begin now. Starting a part-time business is a great way to dip your toes into the waters of entrepreneurship. With a part-time business, you can gain valuable experience in marketing, customer service, and operations without quitting your day job. Plus, you'll have the opportunity to build up a customer base and generate some early revenue. What separates successful businesses from unsuccessful ones is that successful businesses never give up. They keep trying new things and adapting to the ever-changing landscape of the business world. So if you want your business to be successful, never stop trying. With enough hard work and perseverance, you'll eventually reach your goals. The author Robert Kiyosaki's experience has led him to advocate for a different approach to personal finance than what is typically taught in schools. He encourages people to think like investors rather than consumers and to focus on building assets rather than just earning income. Now for your bonus. So many people talk about entrepreneurship, but it can be a lonely place to start out. The world right now is like nothing that has ever existed, and you can start an online business faster and easier than ever before in history. There is no better way to improve your financial situation than to significantly improve your income. If you want to find out how to do this, there are details below. Please do get in touch and we can talk about how to get you moving. And there is access to material you can download for perusal at your own convenience. Thank you for being all ears throughout the entire video. To create is effort. To copy is genius. Albert Einstein. If you want to expand your income by building an online income, feel free to contact me so we'll get things moving right away. Remember, if you want to change your life, let's make a change together.